Hello everyone, I'm Sandy Anastasi, Psychic Channel, Intuitive Astrologer, and Soul Coach. And I'm here with my editorial blog for July of 2017. Folks, I want you to ask yourself a question. Are you a pass the buck kind of person? Be honest with yourself because as you answer, no one else but you is going to know how you answered. The answer you give though is important. It holds the key to almost everything in your life. Things that you want to achieve, to have, to experience. When someone asks you for something, do you answer them directly or do you give excuses? Do you redirect them to someone else for their answer? even if you could supply it yourself. When something goes wrong in your family or at work or elsewhere in your life, do you seek for a way to repair the situation yourself or do you seek to blame someone or something else and then sit back and wait for somebody else to fix the problem? Do you spend as much time or more finding ways around doing something than you would by just doing it? If you answered an honest yes to any of these questions, you are a pass the buck kind of person. And as much as you want to advance spiritually, emotionally, intellectually in your life, I'm afraid you just cannot. Pass the buck people, my friends, don't grow. They don't evolve. Granted, they manage to escape most of life's challenges. They get to go along for the ride. When things are good and when they aren't well, they just pass the blame or the responsibility along to somebody else and sit back and wait for the fix to happen. They get to collect their paycheck or its equivalent in human relationships all the while feeling like they're doing exactly what they should be by passing things along to a person better equipped, so they think, to handle those things. And they tread water until the next thing to be passed along comes along. We've all experienced the frustration of dealing with the past the buck people in our lives. I overheard a conversation that a friend was having with her credit card company. We've all We've all had these things go on in our lives, but this is just an example. It took her over a half an hour on the telephone of transferring from one person to another before she was finally transferred to someone with the knowledge and inclination to actually address the problem. This wasn't a telephone system problem. It was a pass the buck employee problem. In this instance, listening to the call it was very easy to see the vampirism also inherent in those past the buck people the caller encountered as one after another the unhelpful person on the other end of the line did their best to suck the life out of her before passing her along to the next incompetent past the buck person i've encountered this same problem myself in stores where I had to go through five people to get an answer to a single question in dealing with technical web design people who kept passing the work on to the next team and most frighteningly of all in the medical system when I had to visit the hospital my dad was in every shift change for a week to make sure the meds in the computer were accurate as no one seemed to have the time, ability, or inclination to update them. Past the buck people not only miss their own opportunity for growth and evolution in their life, they also block and hinder the growth journeys of others. They become baggage to those they love and who love them. So if you have fallen into the trap of becoming a past the buck person, what do you do about it? First of all, you need to identify that you are shirking your responsibility to yourself and others. You need to face up. Next, you need to consciously choose to change. 
to become the responsible person you need to be in order to achieve self-growth in every area of your life. Then you need to consciously stop those past the buck behaviors. Those behaviors that are making you a non-player and a non-achiever in your own life. When someone asks you a question, answer it yourself. Or if you don't have the answer, search out a person or source that does. Make it your responsibility to get the answer if you don't already have it. When someone asks you to do something connected to a job or a skill that you're supposed to have, if you don't have it, apply yourself to the correct education and get it. Stop procrastinating. Do things as soon as they become your assignment. Procrastination is only another way of passing the buck by hoping the issue or problem will go away or someone else will do it for you if you avoid it. What are the benefits of changing your past the buck behavior? Well, the first is that your friends and family are gonna like you better, a whole lot better. But even more importantly, you're soon going to see that your newfound sense of responsibility applies first to yourself. Wow you're going to find that you feel good about yourself. You're going to find that you can set and achieve goals that you never could before. You're going to gain self-respect and in turn, others will respect you and give you recognition that you've never had before. You'll shortly find that some of the things you passed the buck on were wonderful growth opportunities for you. Your personal growth in every way, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, even physically, will finally begin. I hope to see you this month, starting July 5th, in my online psychic development class. One huge way that you can stop passing the buck in your own life is to develop your intuitive and psychic skills to where you can foresee the outcome of your own actions and the actions of those around you. That's a big reason why so many people become past the buck people, they fear the consequences of their actions. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to foresee the results of your actions and those of others that affect you so that you can make insightful choices and take positive results-oriented action in your life? Study psychic development with me online this summer in the safety and comfort of your own home and my guides and I can help you learn to do that. I'm Sandy Anastasi. Visit me at www.sandyanastasi.com to find out more about me and my work and sign up for my free monthly newsletter if you'd like to receive these editorial blogs in writing in your inbox. And I'm going to give you a free audio downloadable healing meditation just for signing up. See you back here next month with more insights. Thanks so much for coming by.